a couple of people here. Um, first of all, Jeff Smart's the moderator of this, of this next panel. And those of you who are at the very first um, Colorado Innovation Network Summit, Jeff was, um, remember that for those of you there, there was a guy in the back of the room with a really big wig and his big hair, and he was a heckler from the back. And the panel was four individuals uh, who were private sector uh, business executives who had come to serve in John Hickenlooper's administration uh, in the cabinet. And uh, Jeff was the heckler who said, what the heck is government doing? Government stinks. You guys can't get anything done, yada, 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 yada. Well, Jeff turns out to be one of the nation's world's experts on talent and how to attract and retain top talent. And he helped the governor, in particular in the first administration, uh, identify talented people to serve in the cabinet. And with one exception, that being me, he did a really great job of attracting good people. Um, but, um, but he did do a phenomenal job and he continues to serve as the chief talent officer. And the interesting thing about that, I referenced it yesterday, um, was that uh, I remember him raise, asking for a show of hands, how many of you would serve in government? And I think four people raised their hand the, the, before the panel and about 50 raised their hands after the panel. And so I thought that that uh, was a pretty good indication that that panel was effective at communicating why it was they. Jerry, Sophia, thanks so much. Distinguished guests, our goal is to make this the most useful panel you ever experience you know for the rest of your lives. Do you know where they went? With Safra? We go? No. And we're going to do that because in the next just few minutes together, we're going to solve your number one problem. And your number one problem is hiring and developing talented teams. Hiring and developing talented teams. That's according to the Wall Street Journal in their book review of that Who book that's in your tote bags. They said, isn't this the most important aspect of leading in business or government or education? And yet remains, Tammy Dore, one of the least understood. So we're unscripted, we're unplugged somewhat, and uh, this is gonna be about interaction. So what is so hard about hiring and developing and retaining talent? So how you're successful elsewhere. Yes. Love 100%. it. All Wait. right, back here. <laughs> we, we want to make sure you guys have some love up here. <laughs> Questions for our panel, <laughs> sir. All right. Please. Is the mic on? Oh, yeah, he's first. that's very kind. Yeah, he's first. You're, you have a very generous face. Please, sir. You do have a generous face. Um, <laughs> All right, so, hit it. What do we got? Um, Life I'm sorry is short. I made it weird. But <laughs> the bottom line One of my mentors is Peter Drucker, the great management, yeah. father of management. He coined the term management by objectives, yeah. right? And, and I'm, you know, so I talked to him as a, or he, he's passed away now, but he had a deep Austrian baritone <laughs> voice, and it made him very wise. And, and, I, and I said, like, how do you, how do you come up with that? Like, you know, that's like brilliant. And he's like, you know, getting people to think and to commit to their objectives is not brilliant, it's common sense. <laughs> and that was like 60 years ago. But I'll tell you, it, in, the, in the corporate world, and actually even in the government world, they're pretty good at measurable outcomes. In the startup world, friends of mine and, yeah. and folks we've angel invested in, um, you guys are sometimes moving a little fast to sit for a second with folks and actually hammer out numerical measurable outcomes. In it. And if you skip that step, it's just really hard, I think, to manage people remotely. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. Great panel, by the way. And Thanks. Nice, nice You're a great audience member. Nice impersonation. Well, Gary's a co-trotter. 